Welcome everybody to my show. <clears throat> it's not really a show, it's more messages, but I wanted to go into the video and talk a little bit about the Aquarius full moon and what we're going to be feeling around this time um, and why we're feeling it. So with the Aquarius full moon, we are, this is, um, I like to compare it to the movie Taken <clears throat> because it's like we are finding ourselves in new situations with new groups of people or a new work environment or a new home or something of that sort. And we find ourselves doing things the old way, how we used to do them, how we used to accomplish them. But in reality, what we need to do is just come in humbly with a set of skills and do the best that we can. Um, and to realize that we have had those sets of skills for ever and that it was leading us to this purpose all along that the whispers that we hear from spirit aren't really something that necessarily needs to be navigated by our ego it's something that needs to be navigated by our heart and by having an open and humbling experience with yourself and the people around you so <clears throat> this is going to feel unlike any experience before because it's not supposed to feel familiar. It's not supposed to feel like something um, that you already know all the answers to, which can be quite hard for especially people around my age or people that are older than me because we've done, we've lived our lives in auto drive for a very, very long time. So <clears throat> it can be difficult to change our process. It can be difficult to come in humbly and not really have any arrogance behind you, you know, um, or a need or a need to be seen or a need to have an accolade. It's like you're coming in because you can help because you happen to be able to help because of the skills that you've acquired along the way. So like, for example, the reason why I like to compare it to Taken is because <clears throat> I'm hoping that's the name of the movie is because he has that certain set of skills that's going to help navigate him to his daughter when those people steal her right? He may, <clears throat> he may not know exactly how he's going to get there or where the exact target is, but he has those set of skills and he's coming in trying to look for his daughter. He doesn't have any ego to, ego to play here. He's playing for his heart. He's playing for it all because it's for his family. That's not to say you're going to be doing something for your family or any of that sort. It's just that you're going to feel incredibly unfamiliar to the environments that you're exposing yourself to if you are growing, okay? If you're staying inside your house and you're isolating and you're not really moving as far as life goes, the only real transits that are going to impact you are transits of the full moon. But it's going to be more inner, um, an inner feeling or a feeling that you can't you can't grasp onto. Like, um, say. <clears throat> Say the things that have been working in your life for a very, very long time are starting to break down, are starting to go into new cycles, and you're not exactly sure where to go or what to do. Um, this is that time where you assess and try something new. Um, a lot of you are going to be led or directed to that, though, because you're finding people that you resonate with more. So let's see what other messages the full moon has. What messages does the full moon have for collective... Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you for another day not promised. Thank you for all the love, guidance, and wisdom you give to us. What do people need to know for the full moon in Aquarius? What themes are happening in the full moon of Aquarius? Okay. So I'm seeing the devil, king of cups, and the universe. <clears throat> Um, with the devil, this is talking about things that suppress you. This is talking about exactly what I was talking about. Um, it could also, you could also be a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn. Ex excuse the muscle machine that's going on loudly out there. Um, you could, so with the devil, this is talking about suppression. This is talking about, um, feeling like something is holding you back. And with this particular devil card in this particular spread, um, I feel like the devil could be the past. Um, a lot of you, this doesn't necessarily have to be a new set of skills with a work, work influence. This could be with individuals. This could be spirit um, have showing you cycles of where things have failed, where things have gone wrong, um, where, where you've had differences with other people. 
Um, some of you could be feeling like you're getting judged at this time by different people or feel like you're alone. Like I'm feeling a lot of lone wolf energy here. But with a king of cups, you hide your emotions well. Maybe, maybe you're maybe you're keeping you're trying to keep this balance. You're trying to keep <clears throat> the old cycles that you're trying to that are fall, trying to fall away. King of Cups means that you're pretty balanced about it because it's in the upright position. Um, so maybe you're trying to balance things but look at the past at the same time and you're worried that the past is always going to be lingering over your shoulder. Let's see, what's with this universe card? Okay. This is, yeah, this is talking exactly about what I was talking about with the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Seven of Cups. Okay. So this is talking about different cycles that you've never even allowed yourself to go into because of the fact that you haven't recognized your self-worth up until this point. For some of you, you're still working on your self-worth. For some of you, um, you're still finding blockages. Everybody is different on the timeline, but trust and believe that where you're going is going to be completely unfamiliar, is going to be a, um, something that lands in your lap almost. Um, a lot of you are being called to help the collective, like a lot of you that watch my channel are tarot readers or channelers or healers of some sort or aspiring healers or it's all a different timeline, but you're getting to the same place. This is all happening for a reason. With the Two of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands reversed, it's like you're no... You're no longer allowing this the strict policies that you had on how you thought your future was supposed to go. You're no longer blocking that. Please clarify the two of swords. It's like, uh, it's a feeling of like, you really don't know where to go from here because you don't want the same old shit happening over and over again. And this is talking about contemplating whether you want to begin old cycles over or you want to rest. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, they're asking you to keep your strength that no matter what, no matter where you're going or how discombobulated it feels or how much it feels incomplete or messed up, you're exactly where you're meant to be. And I'm confirming that for you, okay? Don't stress yourself out and be really compassionate with yourself because this is not easy. Uh, we're talking about a gener like generations of people who are having to do things that they've never had to do before in their life. Like if you think about it, our a lot of our ancestors lived the same life. You know, they lived the life of <clears throat> um, putting up with things that they're not putting putting up with things or keeping to the same old same old living the same nine to fives living living in the same world expecting the same result every single time and now that the world is changing and the same old things aren't working and we're actually starting to get different results it can be really scary but be kind to yourself no matter what be kind to yourself because this this is like a universal wake up call this is a universal anybody who's been on the spiritual path for a while or has understood the spiritual path it's like it's unknown we don't know we don't know how it's going to end up or where it's going to go it's a soul calling it's something that we can't um that we can't help it's something that was built into us far before we were born and we chose to be here with the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Cups, when I see the Queen of Pentacles reverse, this talks about somebody who's living a life of maybe comfort, but they're not living a life of passion or endurance. I don't know. I don't know why I got the word endurance there. It's almost like with the Queen of Pentacles, she's just she's just doing things in order to survive, to make it. And mind you, this is not about. For some of you, this could be about um, finances that were taken from you or finances that were owed to you and never given, and you feel suppressed by that or you're struggling with that. With the Hierophant, this is definitely a message to healers because they're saying, keep going, keep going. You're not, you're not wrong, but there's a need to trust in the mundane right now. You will find success. Those of you who are looking for a relationship right now, 
will find success. But you're not meant to do things. You're not meant to do things by everyone else's standards. I'm getting the lovers, knight of wands reversed, and the page of pentacles reversed. What is this? What's the knight of wands reversed? Some of you are completely closed off to love right now. Some of you are completely closed off to love right now, or you, you found the right partner at the wrong time is what I'm feeling. And so now you're trying to balance it all out. Okay, any other messages, Spirit? <clears throat> I know that a lot of you are feeling depressed, maybe melancholic over the past, or you're chasing, it, it, what I keep hearing in my head is chasing the dragon, chasing the dragon. And to me, that symbolizes chasing a feeling that is never going to come. And that there need there there are new opportunities that are happening around you, and that's the message that I keep getting for spirit from me as well when it comes to creating my own business and the ideas that I have and expansion and all that good stuff. It's like spirit tells me you might not be popular on the avenues that you want to be popular on, but we're telling you that if you find success in on a platform that you didn't necessarily want to find success on or weren't it wasn't your first choice there's a reason why you found success on that there's a reason why you're meant to be there because of who you're meant to meet like it's a very lately it's been very much an energy of like it's who you know but the thing is is that it's there are endless possibilities to who you could know as long as you choose to expand yourself and put yourself out there and put your skill set out there you'll find the girl <laughs> sorry being an idiot anyways Let's get some guidance messages. I hope this message of the full moon finds you well. Um, just know that full moons can happen just like Mercury um, going into retrograde. So the energy kind of illuminates or sticks around for a little while, especially if you're struggling to find the lesson. What messages does the collective need to know for the Aquarius full moon spirit? What messages does the collective need to know for the Aquarius full moon? Okay, first one is peace. Both of them are upright, I like that. Number 23 for all you numerology nerds out there. And I say that with the most love ever. Um, okay. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Good. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. This is one of those times when you're capable of clear vision about your work and how you create your prosperity. Whatever you're, do whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're, call you're called by a presence to step into your power. Just being is enough. For you are in such peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. All right. And last one to the sea, number seven. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Everything to, seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to your most prosperous potential. To get into that flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money. The true meaning of your personal currency lies in your skills, your talents, and abilities. Wow. 
These could not be more perfect, okay? And most important, your core beliefs. Everything flows from your inner world and is reflected in the outer one. When grateful to serve, you align your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness. You can expect miracles. Everything you need will come to you easily. Okay, my loves. Until next time, I hope this explained it well enough for you. If you want, you can always reach me. I also have a TikTok, Curious Crane, same old, same old. I love you. Until next time. Bye.